Hey guys, what's up? Hella Bass here. We are ready to start with the Rapala Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing Season for 2020. And we're going to get into the St. John's River picks for the first event of the season. Just want to let you know, we also have the picks on audio only. If you prefer to listen to it on a podcast, I'll put a link down below. If you want the audio only version so you can listen in your car or when you're running or whatever you want to do. But otherwise, let's get into the picks right now. All right, guys, let's get stoned here. Let's start talking about the St. John's River. Before we get too far into this, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Fantasy Fishing Edge, or you can check out the links above for Twitter and Instagram at Hellabass and anybody anywhere else you want to follow me on social media. So with that being said, uh, also one last reminder, make sure you join the Beat Hellabass group. Uh, you can see it right here. We're growing to over uh, 600 members. Let's make sure let's jack that up and blow this out. And make sure we can be one of the biggest groups in fantasy fishing. So make sure you join the group. Uh, you don't want to miss out on the great prizes that Bass Utopia is going to put together. I'll make sure to show pictures and show what's going to be in those prizes in future videos. I'll have links to Bass Utopia down below so you can check them out and everything they have to offer. They have great content from Elite Series pros like Patrick Walters and Seth Fighter and many more that you won't want to miss. So here's the details. You can see I'll put comments in here on the, the group comments on how you claim your prizes, what prizes are going to be available. So there'll be updates there. Make sure you tune into that and then as well as tune into this channel. Before we get into my picks, we're just going to touch on a few things here. Touch on a few things. One is you can go to the homepage. You can always check out the articles for all the pundit picks. Pete Robbins, Koi Greathouse, uh, as well as myself, I have an article. Those are great options if you want to do additional research beyond this episode. We're going to touch on a few things from the picks from the other pundits. Uh, giants are expected at the Fantasy Fishing uh, by Koi Greathouse. One thing to note is he is telling you to look at Kennedy as his kind of uh, best bet. Uh, Pete Robbins is also going to tell you to look at Kennedy. I think the pundits are trying to lead us all astray. Kennedy has to be one of the most frustrating Fantasy Fishing anglers to predict. He sometimes completely blows up when you don't expect him. And even when you think he's a dead lock on the lake to be absolutely smash him, he will break your heart almost every single time. So he's a great angler. There is no doubt that he could absolutely win this tournament or be awesome. But buyer beware on Steve Kennedy all season long. And it's probably not the last time I will tell you that. The other thing that is interesting across all the picks, including myself, is that nobody has picked Rick Klun. It's kind of interesting. I guess uh, if you look at his stats, he has won the last two Elite Series events on the St. John's River last year in February at this very same time, uh, as well as the March 2016 St. John's Rivers. Not sure if we don't believe in this, but there is some great data to suggest that he should do very well in this tournament. I don't know if we think he's gotten too old, he's past his prime, he doesn't have another big tournament in him, but I just think that's interesting observation across all the pundits, including myself, that nobody is willing to bet on Rick Klun for bucket A. All right, we're about to dive into the picks and show you what I think are the best picks and who I'm going to lock in for the St. John's River event. If you're new to Sea Fantasy Fishing, and you're not quite sure how to play and all the details and how to do this, I have two previous videos on why playing Fantasy Fishing and how to pick a good team in Fantasy Fishing and do the research. I'll put those links down below as well as in the cards above to make sure. So get caught up on those uh, and then you'll be ready to go for all of the 2020 Fantasy Fishing season. So starting in Bucket E, a lot of new names here. The first couple of events of the year are always really interesting in Bucket E because it's hard to slot all these new anglers that maybe come in from the Opens or, or different places or through the Nation or things like that. So there's not a lot of Elite Series history to go off of. So there's definitely a lot of talent in the Bucket E, again, this February, to look at. You can see the fans are really gravitating towards Buddy Gross. He's a pretty well-known angler coming up from FLW. He's had some success in Florida. He also does really well on Grass Lake. So this on paper, it looks like it could line up pretty good. Not sure Buddy Gross loves to do a lot of sight fishing, but he is definitely good at finding staging fish and offshore fish. If the bite does end up being pre-spawn, Buddy could be very strong in this tournament. I think there are a few better bets in this bucket. I think Austin Felix, Justin Demarion, Caleb Cuphall, Bob Downey, all young upcoming anglers that love shallow fishing. They come from the north where there's a lot of grass. They fish the Mississippi River. They're used to current. Um, I expect all of them to be strong if it's a shallow or sight fishing bite. I'm really torn between Austin Felix and Dustin Demarion, who you see in my Pundit Picks article. I talk about them both. But let me show you one little nugget. I am really tempted to go with Dustin. Uh, you look at his social media post, and I touched this in my Pundit article, that he's been a guide during the winter for the past four seasons on 
the St. John's River and the Palatka area. So he may be one of the very best values and one of the most very underrated people in the entire bucket E. You can see I'm leaning towards Austin and Felix at close to 9%, but Destin is down at 2.3%. So if you're looking for some awesome value and somebody that none of the other pundits have touched on, I think Destin is a great choice to look at uh, in this bucket as well as some of the others. I also think Wes Logan, he has had some tremendous years in the Opens, a very talented angler. I would expect him to be very strong in this event as well. In the end, I think Austin Felix has a little more big tournament experience than any of these guys. So, and he's fished at the FLW Tour level for a few years. So I'm gonna rely on his and his ability to cope with the pressure of fishing on the top level and not having those first tournament jitters. So that's why I'm leaning towards Austin Felix in bucket E for this very first tournament. So moving on to bucket D, everybody loves Kennedy. The pundits love him, the fans love him. Like I said before, buyer beware. Bernie Schultz is a local. Uh, Jesse Takarante is from Florida. All those guys uh, definitely have the potential to have a great tournament here. But for me, the best value and the best angler in this bucket is Brian Schmidt. So outside of Brian Schmidt, I also think Kyle Welchler. I don't know if he has a ton of experience in Florida, but he's fished quite a few opens and AAA level at tournaments on both FLW and Bass. He's a young angler. I'd expect him to be pretty decent at finding fish in the spring as well as fishing shallow and sight fishing. So those are the two guys I lean to. A lot of people like Chris Groh. But for me, uh, I'm going to trust Brian Schmidt, somebody that's got a lot of experience, an up-and-coming angler. Uh, he's very good in Maryland and the Chesapeake and the Potomac on tidal rivers, which St. John's does have a little bit of tide influence, I believe. So that's why I'm going with Brian Schmidt in bucket D. For me, this was one of the hardest buckets to pick. There was nobody that really jumped out at me that was like absolute awesome slam dunk. So for me, this was the trickiest bucket of all the buckets. Moving on to bucket C, the fans love Brandon Cobb. And I think for a good reason. Cobb has proven to be an excellent sight fisherman. He had a pretty decent finish here at the St. John's. He won on Hartwell, which was his home lake in a sight fishing event. And he supplemented his win at Lake Fork by catching some absolute giants off the bed, including 11 pounder. So that being said, I think his second year, he's shown the ability to win. He's won twice in his first rookie season uh, in the Elite Series. So I like him as a really strong pick in bucket C. If you don't want to go with the crowd, I'd look at Kelly Jay, who had a strong finish here uh, last year. Jason Williamson, who didn't have a great finish last year, but has several really strong finishes in past events at the St. John's River. So I don't know if he got caught up in the, uh, the pre-spawn bite that was happening in practice and was a little slow to join the wave that went shallow during the tournament, but I bet you he won't make that mistake again this year. Other guys that I think could be really good in bucket C are GDP, Greg DePalma, who had a pretty good finish here last year in his very first Elite Series event and kind of finished the year stronger as he went and made the classic. So I like him at 3% as a really good value. And then Clark Wentland at a modest 8% as we're recording this video has made a living. They used to call him Mr. Beaver Lake for all the sight fishing wins he had in the FLW Tour. So I would expect him to be really strong. He also had a very strong finish here last year. So he loves to sight fish. KG veteran. Uh, if you want somebody to have a slightly better value who is an awesome pick, look at Clark Wentland. For me, I'm locking on with Captain Cobb uh, and hope when he pulls out a W and shows his propensity for big bass and showing up in big events. So bucket B, the fans love the returning superstars Brandon Polnick and Gerald Swindle. I'm a little uneasy about Polnick. He has not had the greatest track record in Florida. He's a great angler. In one of these years, he's going to figure Florida out, but I am not going to bet my fantasy fishing opener this year on Polonek to figure it out in this very next event. Not saying he's not a good angler, but uh, I just don't like him. I don't love him for this event. I think there are several great picks in this bucket. Um, I like Patrick Walters. I like Keith Combs. Keith Combs has had a really good track record uh, on the St. John's River, but last year he stumbled a bit, so I kind of put him in that same... Uh, category is Jason Williamson. I don't expect him to make the same mistake two years in a row. Uh, Jamie Hartman I like. He loves to fish grass. He's shown he can win. He won two events last year and I really feel like he is coming into his own as an angler. I kind of throw past experience out the window with him a little bit and I expect big things from him all season long uh, in the 2020 season. The other guy that I think is a good uh, bet that had a pretty good finish here last year, kind of took his lumps a little bit up and down, would be uh, Ray Hanselman from Texas. I expect him to have a really good sophomore season on the Elite Series. So there's another guy if you're looking for a little bit under the radar. But for me, I'm locking on Patrick Walters. I picked him last year in this event, and he made a top 10. He's a, a very talented young fisherman. He's from the southeast. I expect him to be able to pattern and fish these Florida strain bass very well. 
He's a young angler. I expect him to be very good at sight fishing and do whatever he needs to have a really strong finish on the St. John's River. So we are locking in with Patrick Walters as bucket B. All right, finally, bucket A. This is where all the big dogs are early in the year. Honestly, there are almost no bad picks in bucket A. These are all the guys that had great years last year. They're predicted to do really well. This is where the cream of the crop is, at least to start the year in bucket A. You'll see that Rick Clun, the last, you know, Two-time repeat winner is very high in this bucket percentage-wise, so a lot of the fans like him to make another run. I think there's a lot of good picks in this bucket. I think you could look at both the Johnson brothers. Scott Canterbury had a top 10 or 12 here last year. Mark Menendez was really good. Cliff Prince is a local, knows this body of water inside and out. Lee Livesey, who had a breakout tournament, had some amazing fish catches on the St. John's River last year. Uh, and also Minnesota's own Seth Fighter had a really strong tournament, even though he started a little slow and kind of was on some pre-spawn fish and then made adaptations through the tournament, I expect him to be able to adjust even quicker. And if this doesn't turn into a Seth or a sight fishing tournament, I expect Seth to be a really good pick because he had some really unique things dialed in in this tournament last year. That being said, John Cox is on an amazing role. He's a great Florida fisherman. He just won a giant FLW event on Sam Rayburn. He comes into his home state. He loves to fish shallow. He loves to sight fish. He's going to be flinging that max scent general around. There is no way I am not picking John Cox in the first event of the season. Hey guys, now that I showed you my picks, share down below in the comments. Would love to hear who are you picking in your buckets? Who do you think is going to win? I'd love to hear feedback. If you hate any of my picks, if you got some sneaky picks, let's share them down in the comments below. I got my tiebreaker. I'm thinking high 80s, low 90 pounds. For the event, I think this is going to be an absolute amazing event to watch on Bassmaster Live. So make sure you pick your teams, follow along on Bassmaster Live, engage, see how your anglers are doing, and be ready next week. As soon as the buckets come out, I'll be producing another picks video for the Lake Chickamauga event that follows back to back from this event. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. And as always, we're here to help you suck less at fantasy fishing.